Hi, I'm Brennan Bailey, and I am originally from the United States, specifically Texas. And currently I'm working on self-healing um, conductive coatings uh, at EPFL in Lausanne, Switzerland. So the Shemap project is a European Union funded Marie Curie um, initial training network that's a consortium of uh, nine partners from six different countries that involves 15 researchers. It's really looking at uh, developing self-healing materials across a, a range of different classes from polymers, ceramics, concrete and composites. So the project is unique in that it brings together disparate disciplines that don't conventionally work together and so you get an exchange of information, research know-how and understanding and hopefully to the benefit of developing self-healing materials. Well, the objectives of uh, Shimat are actually that we take self-healing concepts and then we try to improve them and to scale them up so that they actually can come closer to the market. So very important is also that there is a good interaction between the academia and the industrial partners so that uh, really things can be brought into practice. And another important target is that we also want to tackle some standardization objectives. So we want to develop standardized tests that can be used on the various material classes, which are quite different. And in the end, we hope to build up a long-lasting network of um, academic partners and industrial partners who can keep um, collaborating also for future projects. My name is Damien Palin. I come from Kilkenny, Ireland. I'm conducting a PhD in the Technical University Delft in Holland. My research is on bacteria-based self-healing concrete, uh, particularly application in the marine environment. Hi, my name is Chloe Paul Victor and I'm working in the University of Freiburg in Germany. I'm making a postdoc about plant fibers and self-healing. And the motivation for these coatings is that electri electrically conductive epoxies are commonly used in small electric devices and, um, and due to the size of these devices, it's difficult to repair if, um, if the epoxy cracks, which is actually quite common. So I'm incorporating a self-healing mechanism um, that kind of mimics the wound healing process in the human body. I think it's super cool. Probably my favorite aspect of it is just the collaboration and the fact that if there's uh, something I need to do in my research, a certain test or something that's not available at EPFL, I have several different universities and, and industries that I can uh, call up and go visit and use um, their capabilities and, and their skills. It's a really great initiative. I get to collaborate with uh, European partners, people of different backgrounds, so it's multidisciplinary, which is really great for my research. The Shimat project gave me the huge opportunity to mix two fields of research, mechanical engineering and plant biology. Coming to Bristol gave me the big opportunity to use the expertise and also the equipment of the mechanical engineering department in order to improve all the methods for plant biology uh, mechanical properties. Hello, my name is Sandra and I'm a postdoc in the Shimat project. I plan to develop new standards and new regulations that could be important to introduce these materials in the market. Because if you want to commercialize, if you want to make an industrial product, standards and re regulations are very, very important. So that's my work in the Shimat project. You think it's okay? Yeah, okay. Really I didn't follow the script, but just no, no, no. thought about it. <laughs>